Are you sick and tired of getting stuck in your own head? Well, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to stop that. So make sure that you stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And today I had somebody texting me and they're like, man, I just need to talk. I have been stuck in my head, stuck in my head, stuck in my head. And uh, the issue was is that um, they've had some screw ups and things like that and they're just really beating themselves up. And like, I, I talked to them for a bit and I'm like, you know what? This would be a great video. So a lot of you watching this get stuck in your own head and you're wondering, how to make it stop. Like how much better would life be if you didn't get stuck in your head, right? But this video is meant for a lot of people. So make sure you share it because I guarantee you know somebody who's always getting stuck in their head. But let's get started. So I have a lot of experience with this. I have a lot of amazing experience about getting stuck in this old noggin right here. Um, aside from my generalized anxiety disorder, I have this mind that obsesses on things and I can get stuck in it. I can get stuck in things about the future. I can get stuck in things about the past. I can just drift away and create these stories, just insane stories, right? Something um, that can happen to somebody like me or any of you who struggle with social anxiety, maybe you are walking into work and you say hi to somebody and they kind of just brush you off. Then next thing you know, you're just like, what? What did I do? Why are they mad at me? Are they mad at me? What did I do? Oh man, maybe it was that thing I said the other day. Was it this thing or was it that thing? Oh no, I wonder if like I really made them mad and who else was there? Oh no, did I upset them too? Oh my God, now my all my colleagues hate me? Oh no, I wonder if my boss hates me too. Does my boss hate me? Oh my God, you know what? I haven't been doing too well at work. I'm probably gonna get fired. I'm gonna get fired. I'm gonna get fired and how am I gonna feed my kid? I need to feed my kid and I, I need to afford my apartment and my car and ah, right? Like, <laughs> these are thoughts that can just consume us, right? But there is a solution to it. So the first thing we have to make very, very clear is that you're not stopping your thoughts. You are not stopping your thoughts. One of my favorite quotes of all time is this, thoughts think themselves. Um, right before I made this video, I did a little research and I saw a YouTube video and it's like, how to stop your thoughts? Like, come on now, come on, man. Let's be real, okay? Like, let's put it to a test real quick. Like, if I say anything like, let's say a, a, a blue dinosaur, or ice cream, or, you know, drag racing, you know, whatever it is, how are you gonna stop yourself from thinking those? Those things just pop up. And that's one of the very interesting things about the mind, and that's why I love learning all about the mind. Because these thoughts, they just come out of nowhere, right? So if your goal is to stop your thoughts, you're fighting a losing battle. So, now that we've recognized this, and accepted this as fact. It is a fact that you are never going to stop your thoughts. The average person has 50 to 70,000 thoughts per day and about 90% of them are repetitive. Think about that for a second. So if you think that you're gonna stop every single one of those or just stop the ones that you don't like, that is a fool's errand, okay? So the first thing we gotta do is accept the fact that thoughts are going to happen, all right? Now that we've accepted that, now, we just have to work on changing our relationship to those thoughts. So like in the example I just gave, it's not so much the thoughts themselves, it's the story that we create about them. So there's a part of the brain called the posterior cingulate cortex, and it's part of the default mode network. So the default mode for your brain is to create stories. Your brain is always trying to make sense of the world around it, right? So in the example I just gave, the only way my brain can make sense as to why somebody didn't say hi back to me in the morning was because of something terrible, right? We have this sort of negative bias with our brain. But if I just noticed the first thought, right, and I was able to sit back and look at it rationally or see where my thoughts go, then maybe I can be like, oh wait, maybe they didn't hear me. Oh, maybe they were stuck in their head and didn't notice. You see what I mean? I'm able to acknowledge that first thought and now I can have kind of a, a conversation with myself about what actually happened. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you a very simple practice to help you quit getting stuck in your own head. And guess what? It's a mindfulness practice, all right? So 
Pause this video, get comfortable. And when I teach people meditation, um, I, I say just do whatever feels comfortable for you. Like the, the traditional way, um, the way that is suggested is sitting upright. It can be on the floor, it can be in a chair. For me, I do chair because my knees are not the best at bending and stuff. Um, but you can lay down, you can do whatever you want. Whatever is comfortable for you, the posture and all that stuff, we'll get to that later, all right? This is beginner's mindfulness meditation, okay? So go ahead, get comfortable, pause the video if you have to, and let's get started, all right? So go ahead and just get comfortable in your body and take a few deep inhales in through your nose and out through your mouth and in through your nose, and out through your mouth. And go ahead and just return your breathing back to normal. Just let it do its natural rhythm. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and gently shut your eyes, or you can leave them half open with a light glance about three feet in front of you whatever feels comfortable for you. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring our attention to our breathing. And just bring your attention to the rise and fall of your chest or your stomach. Not controlling your breathing, but just letting it happen in its natural way. And if you know, notice your mind trying to carry your thoughts away, just gently bring your attention back to your breath. All right, now bring your attention to the bottom of your feet. And just notice what your feel, feet feel like right now they're touching the ground. Notice what the solid ground feels like. Any sensations on the bottom of your feet. See if you could bring awareness to each one of your toes and just notice what they feel like. And notice any thoughts coming into your brain. And then just gently bring it back to your feet. Now, let's bring our awareness to our hands. And notice what your hands feel like right now. What's the temperature like for your hands? Are they cool? Are they warm? See if you can notice any sensations in your fingers or if your hands are on your lap, the contact that your skin is making with your legs. And just rest your attention on your hands. And now we're gonna do a little open awareness. So just bring your attention to your thoughts and just notice your thoughts. And just kind of imagine them as clouds passing by in the sky, not getting attached to them just being the observer and just watching your thoughts. If your mind is drifting towards the future, maybe label that future. If it's going towards the past, maybe label that past. Just sit and notice your thoughts. All 
All right, now bring your attention back to your breath. I'm just noticing the inhale and the exhale. Now let's go ahead and just take a deep inhale in through the nose and gently open your eyes as you exhale. All right, how was that? How was that? I feel good, do you feel good? But that is a very simple meditation practice that you can do and it's something that helps train you to just start to notice your thoughts rather than getting caught up in them. Because like we just talked about, you are never going to stop your thoughts. But this concept of getting stuck in your head, it's more of getting stuck in the story. One of my favorite analogies is, with meditation, rather than being inside of the movie, we're sitting back and watching the movie, all right? so. I hope this video helped you. Um, I am also going to do something new where when I do a guided meditation like this, I'm going to upload it to SoundCloud so you can download the SoundCloud app and follow me on there and I will up upload a uh, guided meditation. So if you're at work or you have a break or if you're at home and whatever, like you can just come back to some of these meditation practices. All right, so the link to the SoundCloud will be in the description below. So make sure that you check it out, all right? But anyways, like I mentioned before, if you know somebody who has a, a problem getting stuck up here in their head, please do me a favor and share this video with them or just share it on social media. People you don't even know are probably getting stuck in their heads, all right? Don't be selfish, share this with them, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. So make sure that you click that little round subscribe button. And if you wanna check out some other videos on this channel, you can click or tap right there on one of those thumbnails, all right? But again, thank you so much for watching. Don't get stuck in your head today, and I'll see you next time.